When we think about endpoint visibility, it really requires a, a deep understanding about what the definition of endpoint visibility really is. Now, from the Great Bay perspective, endpoint visibility is much deeper than just rudimentary device detection. Not just what's on the network, but where is it located um, in real time as well as historical. Um, and then lastly, you know, how is it behaving? If you could answer those three questions, then you're you're really in a very uh, a very strong position in regards to making sure that the business stays protected. So this is our dashboard. Um, this dashboard is customizable per user, so I can edit it. I can move widgets around. I can add widgets. Um, I can delete widgets. Um, I can do essentially whatever I need to to match um, my job function and how I want to see the data. So in regards to the views that are here, so the endpoint directory is one that you can continue to drill down deeper. Uh, for example, if I wanted to look at information on my Polycom IP phones, so here I have a list of all 21 of my phones. I have MAC address, MAC vendor, I have IP data. Um, very importantly, I have location data. I know exactly what device that, that phone is plugged into um, down to the port level. And I know when it was last profiled. In addition to the dashboard views, there are a lot of other ways of looking at the information as well. For example, perhaps I want to understand and see the endpoints that are attached um, by network topology. So here I can click on endpoints, drill down into the network topology, and let's say that I want to find that test switch. I can look for, here it is, the test 03, and I can drill down deeper and I can see that here's my switch. I've got a couple of IP phones connected. It's connected to two other network devices. It, there's an access point hanging off of it, and then, oh, here's a, here's a clinical laptop. If I mouse over that laptop, I have even more information. So if I jump back to our dashboard and I look at other views, if I look at endpoints by endpoint view by profile top 10. So here's one that helps out a lot with um, things like M&A activity. So I see upticks in, in different devices as those you know, acquired entities get connected to the infrastructure. So it, it's important to be able to look at that information in trends. Um, monthly might be a good way of understanding in 30-day chunks, you know, what kind of devices am I seeing? So that now you can look and see that, all right, there's an uptick in the number of Windows devices, but I ha also have a number of different medical devices. Um, it helps you understand in real time what, how those quantities are changing, and it allows you to compare you know, with other inventories so that now you can look to understand if there are either deficiencies in device types or perhaps even um, you know, areas where you, know, you have a, um, a surplus of a specific device type. The last thing to really pay attention to, um, things that we've seen over time may start to behave in ways that are different. So we give you the ability of looking at things you know, at the event view. So we have events that can identify when new devices come online. Um, it's about identifying new devices in real time. So it very much takes a lot of the onboarding process from a very manual um, labor intensive process in many cases um, to a more dynamic, um, much less overhead process. Um, these are all things that the network intelligence platform can help with.